Breed Standard. My name is Chico Lopez. Today we're going to talk about Breed Standard in the American Pebble Terrier. But you're going to take some notes about very, very big and important topic. What is a Breed Standard? You keep hearing this word by a lot of people. What is Breed Standard? I want you to know this. Breed Standard is a group of things like a blueprint that allow you to see a dog. And when you look at the dog, you say, that dog looks like the real deal. That dog might be the real deal. That dog is similar to the real deal. That dog is close to the real deal. That dog has a resemblance of the real deal. And many times when the, you take the picture or the vision of the right dog or the perfect dog, then the standard itself by looking at it, you say, well, that dog right there, it looks like the real deal. It is the real deal because it's whatever dog. So what is very important and what I want you to learn here today, we're going to do an audit to the information that is on the internet. We're going to go looking at some websites, Google, and we're going to look at the work of a lot of people. You're going to see how confused people is today. And what happens is the moment everybody can raise their hand and give their opinion, people make their own opinion with their own things. And people will be able to give you different ideas what they have at a standard of the breed. But there is something that cannot be changed, and it's the framework. Framework is more important than the standard because framework is, exists before the standard. The standard is something that happened once the dog was created, but the framework exists before the dog is created. And the framework is a set of rules in, that is used by the creators of the breed. Not the breeders, but they are breeders, but not the guys that call themselves breeders, but actually the guys that have the capacity to create dogs. The guys that had the opportunity to go through 100, 200 dogs and look at the dogs and say, I'm looking at certain characteristics of the dog and not only the standard, but they're looking at everything and say, ah, this dog don't qualify. And then they pick up a dog and say, this is the perfect dog right here. And they start to get results because results after everything is really what matters the most. So the breed is based and created by the framework. The American Pitbull Terrier has a framework that is only the best. Whenever you had a dog, you had 10,000 dogs of this bloodline, 10,000 dogs of the other bloodline, 10,000 dogs of the other bloodline, but you had a dog that was absolutely incredible in performance, incredible in production, and he had a network around him of great family members. And at that particular moment, that dog became the best. And if anyone would have the capacity to breed to that one dog at no cost, most people will get rid of all the dogs they have and breed to the dog. That's called only the best. And that is the standard of the breed, that the best dog becomes the breed and the other dogs, no matter what stories they have, what pedigree they have, what uh, standards they might have, they stop being the breed. The breed is always going to be the best dogs. Now let's take a look at these videos and you're going to hear my voice as I scroll down through these um, Google pages and you start to look at why these people are so confused. And I don't want you to be confused. I want you to say, I learned with Chico Lopez. I got the right information. I know exactly what I got to be looking at. So let's take a look at this. So what are we looking here? We're looking at Google. And you can see this is Google right here. And you see all this information. Everyone here, they use their artistic way. This dog is not an American Pit Bull Terrier. The people that think this dog is an American Pit Bull Terrier, they might be a thousand people, 10,000 people, they're all absolutely wrong. This dog right here, Shiga the Great, is the right dog. That is the proper dog. And so you see how the great information is mixed with sometimes garbage. Some people might take my information. See this Shiga the Great. Why, why is this so important? because this dog is the greatest American Pitbull Terrier, performing American Pitbull Terrier of all times. She's a global grand champion, dog of the year, and a tremendous way. This is the sketch made by uh, Del Brastrom back in the days, back in the 70s. And then they use Siega the Grace sketches and mix them with all these other mutts, which are not real Pitbulls. There are some of them are pictures of show dogs. And so this might be a group of people in show dogs and some clubs that they think this is the maximum expression and so on and so forth. And most of these guys live in a fantasy. Take a look at this picture right here. All these dogs around Sierra the Great, like this one right here, in absolute mud. Absolute mud. This dog right here is not an American Pitbull Terrier. It's far away from American Pitbull Terrier. And you'll find some of these dogs here that are show dogs. Some of them belong to judges. 
the show dog judges. <laughs> they show dog judges. They'll go to show dog and they show their dogs and they're very proud and stuff like that. But they are very far away from a dogman. Absolutely. You look at this dog right here. You know, I'm a dogman being all over the world. Never seen a dog like this shape right here with these conditions right here ever in any place that is successful, that is elite. This dog is just a, an image of whoever bred her and, and thinks this is the way it should be. Look at it, all these dogs right here, all of them, you know, literally mutts, literally mutts. They don't qualify to be a real American people terrier within the frame. So people start to create a standard and it's like a mental jerk off so they can have an idea, you know, like, oh yeah, this looks like it, yeah, yeah, I like it. And you gotta be careful out there with all this information. You get the proper information, like right here, this is really what you're looking for. You're looking for a dog that has the right standards. You're looking for a dog that has the right shape, has the right conditions, came from the right source, came from the right place, is built properly, belongs to a family of great dogs. Because one single dog is not a dog that can save the breed. In order to save the breed, one single dog one single litter will not make a difference. You need to have a network of great dogs all around and not just having the bloodline. So I want you to learn here. And the reason why I want I create these videos is for you to learn more and more because you are going to find the wrong information. But I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to get the right information. And then if you're smart, you'll make that decision. You can compare my pedigree my journey, who I am versus anyone else that tells you differently than what I'm telling you. You just compare them, you know, their merits, my merits, et cetera, et cetera. And then if this would have been a, a football game, I'll be Tom Brady. This was a basketball game. I'll be Jordan. And it sounds kind of funny when I say it, but untold is unknown. I'm not going to wait for somebody to tell you that. Check my merits. You'll see the weight of the work we have done for the last 32 years. My name is Chico Lopez. You can always find me at chicolopez.com. I hope this video added a lot of value to you. Whatever you might be, share with your friends. God bless you. Bye-bye.